Hello everyone, and guess what? It's 1.20 season, yet again. I mean, it really always was 1.20 season, but hey, it's uh, snapshot, se not snapshot season again, everybody. And I'm just going to be in the hive, I'm just going to be playing some mini games, just because I have nothing really, I need to just, I just needed to record this, and I didn't really want to do like a survival walk around world thing, so... What is going to be hap- My speculation for 1.20 is it's going to be something- Some sort of archaeology- Archaeology update? I'm not sure- I mean, no one's confirmed it yet, no one on Twitter's confirmed it, but- My speculation is it's probably going to be an archaeology update because of the Twitter posts that I've seen. Especially, I don't remember who it was, but said, We're be excited, something along the lines of we'll dig something up, and- I almost wanted, I'm almost wondering if the sniffer will be found in, in instead of ancient, uh, no, not ancient, what are they called? Ocean ruins? What will be find, found in a secret or special structure only meant for the sniffer only? So, some sort of archaeological, archaeology dig or something. Sorry, I'm having a hard time pronouncing stuff today. So, I am excited for the update. I'm also not. The only reason why I'm not excited for the update is the simple fact that they have nerfed Netherite. And it hasn't changed for three years? Two, three, four years? Something like that? And then all of a sudden they make they add the recipe template, which just kind of makes it harder to get. Bobby, my cat's trying to come in here, but he's not allowed. Bobby, go. Go on. My bo the cat Bobby. He's quite the character. But I really am not excited about that because it just means it's harder to get. And if you look at the template, it makes the template looks like it should be made out of netherrack and with one diamond. I would be fine with that. But not seven diamonds, one piece of netherrack, and another uh, template. The, the whole templates thing is fine. Sorry, I'm getting texted at the when I when I was recording this, I was getting texted. So uh, I'm having I was uh, kind of just sitting there. But the templates are not something I'm really looking forward to. The normal, the just the armor trimming ones are I I think that'll be fine for you for you, for the use of your diamonds, but not the netherite one because netherite doesn't really have like diamonds in it so there's no reason why the template should have diamonds but also the door noises the trap door noises uh i think pressure plates are getting changed the sounds getting changed the uh more parody updates more parody stuff i think and there is a lot of people getting killed all of a sudden and then um i think there are going there there's the bird on I think the uh, game is going to get nerfed a little bit more. I either they need to make diamonds a lot easier to find, or they need to make these templates cheaper, or something along that lines. Because yeah, I don't think I don't know if the community what the community is actually doing from the YouTubers I've seen. A lot of them have been liking it, and they haven't really been like. They haven't really been uh, upset about it for some reason. I mean, if netherites are kind of already hard enough to get, we don't need to get a template to uh, make it in the first place. That just means you have to get the diamonds for it as well. But other than that, 1.20 should be good. The sniffer will be added and whatever the sniffer sniffs up and digs up or whatever. Whatever ends up happening with the sniffer, uh, it, I don't, from what I know, from what I know, and from what has been confirmed, I believe, no more mob up, no, no more mob votes, as far as I know, at least not for, not for a while now, sorry, I was getting texted again, um, uh, yeah, funny, dude, it's kind of funny, but not really, um, the... I'm thinking what they're going to do is they're going to do the 
loser bomb, the bombs that lost and the mobs that lost, I think they're going to go ahead and cycle through that because unless they plan on adding certain features, it's not, some things are not going to work as well. Like, the glare would be really nice in Bedrock Edition because you don't have the F3 screen to see what the light is. I mean, now that they made it so that everything spawns under the light level of 1, it makes that mob a little bit less useful, or a little bit less useless, something along that lines. Uh, the desert, I believe, is going to be getting an update, because technically adding a mob to the desert is giving the desert an update, so they technically fulfilled that. Uh, the savanna, I believe, will be getting an update as well, along with all the other biomes. Uh, the taiga isn't going to, because it already got updated. Same with the, um, darn, I don't remember what it was. Birch Forest, I don't know, I'm not sure if that was actually voted on last year. I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure, but, yeah, I didn't really, I voted originally for the, uh, 3.18 mob vote, what was that? Um, LA, the glare, or the, uh, I don't know what the other one was, but yeah, I voted for the Rascal because it would be be a way for people who can't find an enchanted golden apple. It would be an easy way for them to get a golden apple because it's hard to get. I've been trying to get the golden apple achievement for a long, 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 long time. There's not one in the completely bedrock world for like... 10,000 blocks and they'll feel like flying all the way out there and then just it not being there or the structure generating wrong because I've had that happen lately. But other than that, I really hope that 1.20 is going to bring nice things and not anything that we really don't need. Hopefully it's going to bring more parity. Like the F3 screen, I... I have an idea how the F3 screen could work. It could be like a toggle thing. You can turn on and off through the settings on a mobile. It, It's honestly just... I think it is... They don't want to deal with it, so they're not going to do it. But... As far as I know, I think Java Edition will also be coming to an end. Because I believe JavaScript is also dying. So once... JavaScript dies completely, then they're not going to have no way to code Java Edition unless they, like, copy all the code over to Bedrock, which I don't think will work because it's a completely different programmer platform. But yeah, nothing, really, nothing else about 1.20 has really been released to the community. I mean, we got the sniffer video on Twitter, and we pretty much got the stuff from the Minecraft live show so the bamboo wood all that stuff is out in the pre in the uh, not previews oh, yeah it's also in the previews but it's in the under the next major update toggle in when the create world settings I probably will show that off at some point and it's not really much else to talk about I just hope that isn't going to be like 1.19 which was close to I thought 1.19 was going to be a lot better but I preferably have really high standards for what I think should be in games that that that's just my opinion I think games should be better than they are which I get it's hard to program some stuff so I'm not going not running trying to run anybody down it's hard I get it um, but I've been, I've been trying, I've been working towards getting a computer so I can run Java Edition because there are mods and stuff that I would, that I want, kind of like Optifine, um, like that sort of stuff, furniture, because trust me, Optifine Zoom is very, very nice to have. Uh, be nice if they could make Optifine for just. Uh, Windows Edition or Console Edition, I don't really know what it's called. I don't know what it would be called, really, but just Minecraft Bedrock Edition in general. 
I don't know if it's Windows 10 edition or Windows 8 or 7 or whatever edition. Sorry, I hit the key right there. Um, I need to stop saying um. Seriously, I mean, I say um like every 30 seconds, pretty much. But... Sorry, I'm trying to think about what I'm mean. going to say next. Um, I don't I said um again. I'm, I mean, the templates would be fine if you could get a builder to sell them to you. Like, there's a whole new, I, I have a whole new idea about the builder trading IU, or UI, UI, not IU. It, you could, like, give them a ton of emeralds, like, give them a, like, it's 10 or 15 stacks of emeralds, and then whenever you need something, you just go ahead and click it, and then it would take it, like, be like, a tab or something like he takes it off your tab automatically like you buy something and there you go it's off off your tab you could make them like a stack or two stacks or three stacks of emeralds I mean the templates themselves and only the uh, uh, that armor toolsmith builder could uh, sell them I mean that, that that's an idea I would be fine if they added those templates oh, no, no. If that, but seriously, the templates, I'm not really looking forward to. Goodbye.